Hello everyone, Dr. Confessor is back. Um, sorry, I'm a little late on this. Um, it's been kind of odd not going to my placement this week um, because of summer, so I've just been getting stuff done around the house and working and just kind of relaxing a little bit. Um, but here's the scavenger hunt. So I set it up the second day, the second to last day. Um, just because then all the students would be there and we could just focus on that. Um, I totally blinked. <laughs> um, so I kept them in the hall. You, they're used to coming into the classroom like 20 minutes before the first bell rings. Not this time. I did not let them come in because I did not want them snooping. And I wanted to make sure everything was going to go smoothly. Um, so I just gave them keys to their lockers. Um, to put their stuff away and then um, have them come back when the first bell rang. Um, this also allowed me to tell them the rules before the escape the room scavenger hunt. Um, so I told them um, they have to work together, um, they have to have fun. <laughs> well, they, they did have fun, so that didn't really have to be a rule. But, um, and I told them they shouldn't fight or argue about anything. Um, if they do, I would make anyone who is involved in the arguing sit down um, for the remainder of it and not participate. Because um, they're high schoolers. They, they like to argue and be snarky. And <laughs> um, so, um, yeah. So here, this is, and luckily that didn't happen. Um, a couple of them didn't need a a reminder to you to be like, hey, take a step back, work together, kind of thing. But they were good. Uh, so the very first one, uh, I put on the back whiteboard, we have a front one and a back one. Um, we usually use the front one, but that one was um, filled with the calendar for the remainder of the week, um, just so the kids knew what to expect and to transition into summer. Um, the so I put it in the back, which helped because the second clue was at the front one of the front tables. Um, so this um, I had done with them before the math decoder. I've shown you guys on a few. I've shown you guys this on a few of my lesson plans. Um, I really like it. Um, it challenges the students. Um, it helps you realize where the students are. It's very adaptable. So. You can always modify, change it. Um, so their secret message was table. We had two front tables. One's a round one, one's a square one. So I put clue number two in one of these envelopes. You'll find out why um, in just a moment. And I kind of hid it on the rectangle table underneath some scholastic action magazines, uh, which is what we used for the reading um, in that classroom. So all of these clues are related to things that we've done or learned in the classroom. Um, so they had to kind of look around for this one. Um, they actually figured this clue out very quickly. Um, so that's why I kind of hit it to make it a little bit harder for them. Um, number two. I actually can't find my actual number two. Um, just because it got a little hectic that day. Um, but basically, I cut this picture of a kitchen into four pieces, um, four large pieces, uh, to make it an easier clue. I tried to make the clues harder as they went. Um, so I start off a little bit easy at the beginning. Um, especially since... This one was really hard. This one they needed a lot more teacher support with, which you'll find that with students with cognitive impairments. Um, a lot of times they do need additional support for these, and I was prepared for that. Um, so just, you know, for future teachers um, like me, just keep that in mind. Like, um, don't just assume your students can do something. I can't talk today, apparently. <laughs> so, 
So if you remember, uh, we made cake box cookie recipe. We made cake box cookies. Um, I talked about this lesson a few weeks back when we did it. Thanks, cat. I kept knocking stuff down. <laughs> so I brought the recipe back and we I made clues for them to use the recipe to find specific letters um, to figure out the next location um, which was a student's desk um, they did need some help with that one I had them do it by themselves first and then I slowly added my support in, giving them extra hints, giving them extra support. Uh, number four. Oh. <laughs> my cat. Just my cat. Okay. Anyways. Um. Whoops. That apple. <laughs> Anyways. So, scavenger hunt number four was again in one of these envelopes. Um, it was taped under the student's desk. So they had to read the passage and answer the questions. Um, so the questions, I did two multiple choice possibilities. Um, and each one you see has different letters corresponding with them. Uh, that was so it would spell out card box. The answers would spell out card box. Um, they had to, it was some reading comprehension and it was all about things that we've learned the past couple months with me. So that led them to the card box, which we play cards at lunch for fourth hour because they have a fourth hour job where they wash the tables. And so during the lunch period, we play card games. So I um, put a riddle in there on an index card. I think I actually have it. I do, right here. It says, what is something that teenagers are obsessed with, constantly needs plugged in, and is both distracting and helpful? Where should this item be kept in the classroom? Um, obviously, well, not obviously. This one took them a minute. Um, one of the students did end up getting it. I think it was um, the laptop cart. Uh, then another envelope had a vocab crossword. This, I couldn't figure out how to make. Um, so I will show you. I just took Sharpie and I created a woo, vocab. And it has my students. Um, I had my student who loves doing crosswords. Um, she's actually been practicing her handwriting, and it's actually really, really good um, in comparison to what she used to do. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> they had a really fun time with this one. So you can see the clues up here. Um, I gave them a word bank so that they weren't trying to remember the 83 vocab that they've done this semester. And then I shaded in the boxes that have the corresponding letters, which led them to the mailboxes. In the mailboxes, number seven was another math decoder, only this time it was addition. Um, and it told them to come to me, which I then gave them a riddle. Let's go back. And I actually didn't finish it on here um, because I actually had a hard time thinking of something until like that morning <laughs> of what the color was. So it was on one of these. And I said, I like to, oh, and I didn't even write it correctly. Wow. I like to hang all day, but things can also hang on me. Eight used to be hung on me, but now only six can hang on me. Things can 
also be placed on me. I am the color of lavender. It was actually darker than lavender, but that was the closest thing I could come to for them to understand what that is the color purple. <laughs> I am one of the first things you see when you walk through the door. What am I? Um, they actually really struggled with this, except for my one student. Um, he's mo he's Mosai, so he's lower than a lot of the other kids. He went straight to the um, shelf. It was a little shelf that's hung up. It's kind of like a coat. Like, you can hang keys or stuff like that on it, but that's not where they hang their keys. Um, it's kind of like a coat rack, I guess. Um, he went straight to it. He's like, oh, I know where that is. Um, so, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. That was, like, a good highlight. Um, that thing led them... Wow, well, that thing led them to clue number nine, um, where they had to unscramble the words. Um, it was their other... It was one of their Parapros desks, which then had the very last clue, <laughs> which was another puzzle. I actually do have this one. Um, so they also had an adjacent laundry room um, with no windows, so that was the perfect place to hide their um, gifts. Um, I cut them into smaller pieces so it was a little bit harder for them. Um, I wanted something to be easy, but yet challenging as well um, for them to figure out. Um, so I just printed it off and cut puzzle pieces. Um, I got them all a box of candy. Yeah, got Meyer for like a buck. They had a nice sale. Um, and then two different colored pencils. Dollar store, a buck, again. Um, and then I also gave my pair of pros, um, one of my pair of pros I gave a coffee mug, another one I gave a hot and cold thermos, um, and then my CT I got her, um, some dry erase markers for next year, a coffee mug, and some, like, stress balls, so... It was fun. They all liked it. Um, the pair of pros and my teacher weren't really expecting anything, but especially my pair of pros. But they were really cool and they helped me a lot, um, especially when I was kind of just, just thrown into their classroom in the middle of the semester after my first placement didn't go as planned. Um, but they were very supportive and very helpful, and I couldn't have asked for a better. Um, environment to learn in. So I want to make my last goodbye like really fun and awesome for them. And awesome, so that is my scavenger hunt. Um, it's actually really easy to do. Like you could see, um, I use index cards, Google, um, Google Docs for all of it. So, yeah, it wasn't the, it was really fun actually trying to figure out the clues and all that. So, yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye!